Good morning, guys. Today, I slept in. What time is it? I am stoked. He slept in until 1.30 in the afternoon, and I, I couldn't be more happy. Chris is so happy, um, but in all honesty, it was just the trampoline park took it all out of me. Uh, so it's 2 p.m., we just left, we loaded up the trailer. Um, it's gonna be my first time going to the drag strip tonight, and I'm driving the Civic, right? Yeah, as long as you don't crash it up. Sweet, cool. Let's do this. Okay, so we're at the shop now. I just did a bolt check over Chris's Roadster for him, and uh, we'll probably be changing over to the Slick soon. Uh, but we do need to shuffle some cars, which means I get to drive this kind of cool thing. Note that I said kind of cool because, I mean, it's LS powered and this is like the only LS car I've ever driven in my life. So that's kind of cool. Whoa, did you guys just see that? The window just moved by itself. Interesting. Um, it's kind of cool because it's a drift car, it's an LS and yeah, I've never really driven one before. Anyways, let's start her up. Whoa, sounds like America in here. Woo! And the best thing about it is, if you guys didn't know, reverse is always funky to get into, but there we go. We fixed this little puppy. So she reverses now, goes into every gear. It's brilliant. We're just, we're just moving her a little bit though. Oh, well, that, that seems like a dangerous, a dangerous situation. Keep your hands and feet out of the tail shaft area at all times, guys. All right, let's take it for a little rip. We're just gonna move it over to HP Logic. Oh man, e-throttles are weird. Don't mind me, a little bit of LS soundings. America! Woo! Okay, so the Civic's back from the alignment shop and it drives and feels so much better. I definitely feel safer ripping this down a drag, drag strip for the uh, first time in my life, but you're probably wondering what's the cardboard, the scissors and the sharpie for? We're gonna make a really ghetto kind of cardboard holder for all the gauges that are flopping around. It's gonna sit in here just so we can see what's going on and we don't have anything flying around while we're on the drag strip. So let's get to it. All right, so I just finished the uh, cardboard Samet gauge holder cluster thing. I don't know what you wanna call this. I signed it as well for Ruddy um, so that you know a piece of me is in his Civic if ever he um, you know dies and this becomes his coffin. But Put a screw in that as well, so that that's not going anywhere like it used to. And as you can see, like the, it's super simple. It's just like a cardboard cutout. I'm not sure if you can see in there, but see how it locks in up the top there to the, like the little locking mechanism as well. So it's not going anywhere. Um, but yeah, at least you can kind of see the gauges now from the driver's seat and see what's going on instead of them flopping around in there and making a lot of noise and whatnot. So I think that's pretty cool. And uh, we'll see what Chris thinks of this. All right, so we're now at the gas station. We're gassing up, getting ready to head to the track. And Chris, bro. I gotta show you my uh, my uh, gauge cluster thingy, me Bob, that I just made. You made a gauge cluster. Yeah, you gotta come check it out. I want your thoughts because it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's some like it's next level MacGyver stuff. Box. Yeah, much better than just flopping around in the glove box. Oh, um, dude, that's bald. You like that? How long did this take you? Uh, it took me like 30 seconds, maybe, maybe mile like five minutes, but I mean look they're it's not like, It's pretty sturdy too. Yeah, yeah, I just cut it out and just clipped it in there But it's better than what you had before, right? Oh my god, it's ten times better. Is that is that like haggard spec do you reckon? Dude, I'm leaving it. You're leaving it? I mean, it's the it's the racer civic. I think it fits perfect. Hell yeah the signature. If anyone wants this um, hit me up in the DMs. I'll sell it to you for like 50 bucks. I just think it's worth that much, right? <laughs> yeah, all right. I put a screw in there too, so that won't fall out anymore. What? Yeah, man. You screwed my dash? Oh, I'm sorry, dude. You see this dash? It was screwless. It was screwless. Well, at least it won't fall out. That's true. <laughs> no, all this right. is sick though. Thank you. No worries, man. <laughs> the things you can do with cardboard, am I right? Yeah, right? All right. Time to head from the gas station. I stocked up on some gummy bears and uh, this Arizona. Never heard of those before, so Chris recommended them. Said I'll have fun when I drink that. So let's head. So we just got to the drag strip. It took us a little bit longer than expected due to some dramas, but we're all good. Ready to run. I'm uh, really looking forward to my first ever drag runs on a track. I've drag raced on the street and stuff like that in Mexico, but never on a real track specifically built for it. So this is gonna be epic. So they're just prepping the track right now. And uh, Chris, what happened, bro? Well, I lost my wallet, so they won't let me drive without like a license. I have a picture of it, but they won't accept that. Yeah. So, so it's just gonna be me driving, which honestly feels so wrong because it's A, not my car, 
and I mean you're not even driving at all and you look like we brought it all here so it's okay I want to see how good you are I can actually watch and evaluate it now you know <laughs> evaluate what my first time ever at a drag strip it's gonna be terrible and I can't wait to beat your time next Friday when I come oh to you're gonna Civic. destroy my time <laughs> for sure for sure all right so I'm gonna go wait in line and then uh, we'll pop my cherry I guess so there is definitely a lot of cars at this test in June that I have no idea about. Lots of American V8s, superchargers, you know, the uncool way of boosting an engine, right? Nah, I'm trolling guys, I'm trolling. Nothing wrong with a good charger, but uh, I'm definitely out of my comfort zone. I'm really out of my comfort zone. <laughs> and Chris has completely bailed on me. I mean, which is fine because he can't drive, but he's in the bleachers with Courtney and just waiting for me to run. I've been here for like an hour already waiting, so I don't know. I'm not really liking uh, drag racing yet at this point. We'll see how I feel after my first run, but I'm definitely not keen on the whole like waiting for hours just to do one quick run. Uh, that kind of sucks, but we'll see how I feel once the adrenaline is pumping and we've done a run. I am so, so, so nervous. I don't know why. Like my helmet barely fits in this thing, man. This is insane. I think we better close the sunroof. I don't even know what the rules are, man. Alright, that's my little skid. Let's see how we go. I think the transmission's blown. Yeah, I think we just blew the transmission. Oh, the clutch just slipped like hell. Wow. Yeah, the clutch, I think. Oh, yeah, I smell it now. We're loaded up. We're ready. Here we go. I think the next time we go, we'll load it on really slowly so that we don't get the clutch to slip like that. Man, that sucked. All right, well, we're back in line. Hopefully we get to run again because it's starting to rain a tiny bit. Chris is over here and he was like, what is going on? Yeah, I was, I was really confused. Right, and then uh, we rewatched all the footage from the GoPro, um, which you guys will see. Um, and we wanted to check because um, he couldn't hear me hitting limiter, but I definitely was hitting limiter. I definitely was shifting, wasn't bogging. It was definitely slipping on the clutch. It's fine when I'm doing a burnout. It's fine when I'm pulling on the street because the moment I got off the track, I did a rip down the back there, which you're not supposed to do. It's that good old XTD, dude. Yeah, but um, yeah, eBay clutch. Maybe that eBay clutch just can't handle the stickiness. No, I don't think so. I so mean, yeah, I'm just try it again. And try it again, but I'm gonna ease in. I'm yeah. gonna ease in. Um, I'm just gonna try to do like a really good pull without like clutch dumping really hard. Yeah, because like on the street, like it just breaks loose for yeah. a second. But like even like third and fourth gear pulls, like maybe it just doesn't have enough power to slip. Yeah. But like it's fine. Yeah. Like, I've never had any slippage yeah. issue with this car. Like the wheels spin on the street. Yeah. Non-stop. Like we've been doing that pretty much every time I've driven this. I've this skidded car, right? the crap out of this. Yeah. So um really disappointed for my first go. I but know, sorry, man. But it was still an experience and I'm loving it. Hopefully we get to run again tonight. It's already getting late and it's starting to rain. So we're hoping they don't close things up, um, but I'm excited, dude. So I guess this is that drag life, right? Everyone just hangs out waiting for uh, them to let us run. Got the hood up, hopefully she cools down. But I wanted to take a look at these EGs over here because these things are sick. Full carbon fiber front end. Yeah, EGs are totally what I'd love to build one day. If I want to build a nice Civic, it's going to be an EG. This thing's sick. I wish I knew the owners. I'd love to love to talk about the car. Oh, look at the funnel on that. That's cool. K-Tune stuff everywhere in the interior. area. Hungry. Damn, that's a big Johnny in there. I love this thing. This is sick. Goals. One day. For sure, one day. Wait, is this thing all-wheel drive? Because he's got big slicks both front and rear. Yeah, I'm going to say all-wheel drive. That's scary, but cool. I love there's a Chevy badge on this and it's not a Holden Commodore. My guys in Australia will know what that's about. I want to go check out the guys that are up right now, especially this Supra. This thing's got a mean 2JZ in there. Hell yeah, that sounds cool. Also that all-wheel drive Civic, EG Civic's right there and I want to watch that. All right, this is that all-wheel drive Civic I want to watch. Staging up, here we go. Oh, he bogged. Oh, 
he must be still working out kinks. Oh, that sucked. Oh yeah. 2JZ versus Civic, this is gonna be cool. Good seeing a JZ80 Super out here. All right. Looks like everyone's having Honda problems today. Hopefully this Civic does better than the rest of them today. This sounds mental. Wow. Damn, everyone, everyone's having issues with their Hondas tonight. At least it's not just mine. You're right, that's true. Right. So I'm lining up now, and this is the final run for the night. It's been really busy, so this is my only second time of running. A little bit nervous again, but hopefully we go well. I'm gonna ease into the launch so that uh, we don't get clutch slipping, but uh, we'll just fill it out, see how we go. Second time ever running down a drag strip, so got a lot to learn, and if you guys wanna comment in the comment section, actually, and uh, give me some tips and pointers for when I start doing it in uh, either Japan or Australia, that'll be great. <laughs> That was good enough. We'll stage up. Oh, we bogged it. All right, let's just go for it. It won't go into third. Oh, miss shift. Oh well, at least we went faster than the last time. Okay, miss shifted. <laughs> oh, I couldn't find third. That was still fun though, still had fun. And it's the seat time that matters, right? Thanks mate. All right, let's see. Yo, we ran a 17 guys. Woo! We pretty much knocked our time in half. I feel great. We did a 17. <laughs> That's actually pretty good, all things considered. Miss shifting, terrible launch. What was my reaction time? Oh, we did 91 mile per hour, that's kind of cool. My reaction time, oh wow, that was really bad. Yeah, okay. We definitely need to uh, do some more drag racing and figure this out. All right, so we are in route, heading home again now. Um, I am pretty happy with my second run. I mean, second run ever. I did pretty good. We smashed our time, we did a 17. It wasn't that great, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Chris is uh, still a little bit upset, obviously, with uh, what's happened with the GTR and uh, not being able to run tonight and his luck lately. This week, Rod Knock Curse has come full send, that's for sure. Is that a train? Oh, that's a train up there. Damn, I've never seen a train here yet. Anyways, I need to focus on driving, so we're gonna do that and uh, we'll pick it up from there. All right, so I had an absolute blast today. Thank you so much, Chris. No problem, man. Uh, he's a little bit preoccupied with Forza. <laughs> Notice me, damn it. No, um, but in all seriousness, today was amazing. Um, first time ever drag racing at a strip. It felt great. I definitely want to get some more seat time doing that, so we'll have to work something out in the future. Um, but for that, guys, once again, actually, I do want to say, tell me in the comment section if you guys have any tips and pointers for me to focus on next time I'm out there. Um, going over the footage, it looks like maybe uh, the clutch did kind of slip a bit, but it mainly looks like wheel spin, and I know for a fact that gearbox is open, no LSD, so it could have just been one wheel spinning with the extra grip and whatnot, and that's why it kind of felt like the clutch was slipping. I don't know, but that's what it kind of looks like to me. Um, otherwise, I had a great day. Everyone go give uh, Chris some love on social media. He needs a bit of cheering up. Peace out, guys. Chama tane.